गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू द सनराइज विद जीसस फ्रेंड्स जीसस वॉक्ड विद हिज फ्रेंड्स द डिसाइपल्स फॉर थ्री इयर्स ऑन दिस अर्थ and during those 3 years of their fellowship of their friendship there were so many special and memorable moments we remember that they were together day and night there were moments that were phenomenal like that time when they were having a rough ride on the seas and the storm becomes violent and death seems sure and that's when jesus rises up and jesus speaks a word and turns the tables over and the very seas that were violent now become submissive and then there were tense moments and joyful moments like when they got invited to a wedding and the wine gets over and Jesus just goes and speaks to the servants and the water turns into wine and then there was that time when 5000 people come to join and be with them and they're listening to Jesus it's a grand party a great celebration but an important element food is missing and they're looking around and they locate this young boy with five loaves and two fish and Jesus blesses it and the multitude is fed to satisfaction with 12 baskets of food still remaining there were so many unbelievable and unforgettable moments and we should not forget those personal moments each disciple treasured right from the time when Jesus called them by name and chose them and asked them to be with him there were so many precious and beautiful moments and then there was the last supper there was nothing phenomenal about it it was rather a routine celebration of the passover there was nothing joyful there was nothing tense there was in fact a tinge of sadness because jesus would talk about his death and they were not ready for it there was so much to be done there was nothing inspiring about it because everything that was spoken was in fact beyond their comprehension and yet this moment is what jesus would tell his disciples to relive as a sacrament of their friendship jesus would say do this in memory of me it is this moment that we do hold the community of the apostles and everyone who would join them together it is this moment that is spilled over in every generation when every generation believers like you and me can step into that upper room and look at jesus breaking bread and saying this is me broken for you that you no matter what you understand no matter what you've not understood no matter what you feel no matter how broken you are you can come here and be fed by the most precious friendship yes the holy mass could hold for us nothing phenomenal unlike some of the saints we don't get caught up in raptures each time we go for the holy mass perhaps there's nothing tense or joyful out there maybe all that we see there is something routine there could be moments when we enter there with no feelings and no words and yet it is at the holy mass that we enter a friendship that is so rich it does not require us to have the finest of words or the fieriest of emotions all it needs is for us to be present to a love for us to be present though it may be even with the poverty of our hearts it is at the holy mass that we come face to face with a shepherd who lays down his life as a lamb of god with a master who washes the feet of his unworthy servants it is here that the god who provides our daily bread becomes bread to feed our souls and refresh our spirits as we listen to this message may we be encouraged to know that it never really mattered what we felt what we knew what we understood or even what we could bring it all depended on the shepherd who has made a decision for us on our god who would lead us to a place 
where we are fed, where we will begin to understand, where we will begin to feel and where we will begin to love. In a catechism class, the teacher asked her students one day, what was the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament? She received various answers, but there was one particular answer that she was very much impressed with. And that answer was this. The student had answered, in the Old Testament, the sheep died for the shepherd for remission of sins. But in the New Testament, the shepherd died for the sheep in remission of sins. This was the difference between the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament is a foreshadowing of what was to come in the New. Jesus is the shepherd and we are his sheep. The Gospel of John chapter 10 verse 11, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. A good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. Jesus in the Gospels, especially the Gospel of St. John, is presented to us as a good shepherd who lays down his life for his people, for his sheep. Jesus came into the world not to rule over us, but rather to lay down his life so that our sins could be forgiven. The very name Jesus is a clue and an indication of this beautiful salvific ministry of Jesus. The name Jesus means God saves. Jesus came into this world to save each one of us from our sins. And this he did by laying down willingly his life on the cross. We as people who live in this world are often beset with problems, situations that are often sinful in life. And we all find ourselves to be in the midst of problems out of which we feel we cannot get out. But we must understand and realize that we have a shepherd who has given his life for all of us. He is the good shepherd who leads us to greener pastures. He is the Good Shepherd who leads us to the streams of living water by which our thirst can be quenched. Are we ready to approach this Good Shepherd with trust, faith and confidence? In the Old Testament, the sheep gave their life in order to have the forgiveness of sins for the shepherds. But in the New Testament, we have Jesus, the shepherd, who becomes the sheep and gives his life in remission and forgiveness of sins. Let us look up to this shepherd of our life. From the cross, he sends forth his salvation. From the cross, he brings forth his mercy and compassion to all who look at him. Let us never be afraid to approach this great shepherd of our life and seek for remission and forgiveness of our sins. Today, let us strive to build a beautiful relationship with this great shepherd of our life and allowing ourselves to experience his mercy and compassion. Let us in turn become a good shepherd to one another, laying down our lives in service for one another. May God always bless us to become good shepherds just as he would lay down his life for us and may the name of the Lord be ever praised. Live Jesus. St. Augustine says that Jesus is the only friend who will never leave you whether you are right or wrong. And this speaks volumes. This means Jesus is a one friend who will walk with you every day of your life, no matter how monotonous, no matter how incomprehensible it may be. Jesus is the only friend 
who will walk with you every step of the way. Dear friends, this is a friendship that we celebrate. This is a friendship that makes our life a celebration that makes the monotony, the unphenomenal, the unjoyful moments of our life a celebration. There is nothing in this world, nothing within us, nothing outside there that can get us closer to heaven than the Holy Mass. Yes, at the Holy Mass, we become one with Jesus. Jesus becomes so one with us that even the angels envy us. The Holy Mass is that moment when we enter the heart of God. And the Eucharistic adoration is when we peer into eternity. We peer into the one who holds eternity. Dear friends, come let us adore Jesus. Come let us adore the Lord, the God, the Shepherd, the Savior who holds each one of us our wounds, our past, our future, our lives in his heart. Come, let us adore his heart. On bended knees I come, with a humble heart I come, bowing down before your holy throne, lifting holy hands to you. As I pledge my life on you, I worship you in spirit, I worship you in truth, make my life a holy praise unto you. On bended knees I come, with a humble heart I come, bowing down before your holy throne lifting holy hands to you as i pledge my life on you i worship you in spirit i worship you in truth make a life for holy praise unto you Make my life a holy praise unto you. On bended knees I come, with a humble heart I come, bowing down before your holy throne, lifting holy hands to you as I pledge my life on you. I worship you in spirit, I worship you in truth, make my life a holy praise unto you, make my life a holy praise unto you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You are my healer. You are my healer. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You are my savior. You are my savior. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I accept you. I accept you as my Lord. As my Lord. And my 
Savior. And my Savior. I surrender. I surrender. My life. My life. At your feet. At your feet. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. You take charge. You take charge. You take authority. You take authority over my body. Over my body. My body. My body is your temple. Is your temple. The temple of your spirit. Temple of your spirit. I surrender. I surrender my body. My body to you, my Lord. To you, my Lord. You take authority. You take authority over my body. Over my body. Over my mind. Over my mind. I believe. I believe you will heal me. You will heal me. I believe. I believe you will heal me. You will heal me. I believe. I believe you're my healer you're my healer you're my savior you're my savior you're my god you're my god hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus let us look at jesus jesus is looking at you the eyes of jesus are focused on you to see how sick you are when the sick people came to Jesus Jesus looked at them the blind in their eyes the paralyzed in their legs Jesus looked at them Jesus asked a question what do you want me to do for you we want to tell Jesus whatever we want Jesus to do for us and everything is for the asking at this moment this is the moment chosen by God it's a moment appointed by the Lord to intervene into our lives and therefore there is tell him Let's tell him whatever we are suffering from. Let's tell him, I want to feel your power. Your power, O oh God, in my body, in the sickness of my body, of my mind. The Lord is present. The Lord is present in the sanctuary. The Lord is present. To every pain of our body the Lord is present to every distracting thought of our mind the Lord is present to all the anxiety bothering us the Lord is present as we sing together let us believe this the Lord is truly present to everything gone wrong with your body with your mind let us sing together the Lord is present in his sanctuary let us praise the Lord the Lord is present in his people gathered you let us praise the Lord praise him praise him let us praise the Lord praise him praise him let us praise Jesus. The Lord is present in sanctuary. Let us sing to the Lord. The Lord is present in His people gathered. Let us sing to the Lord Sing to Him, sing to Him Let us sing to the Lord Sing to 
Thank you, Lord. We worship you, O oh God. We believe in your power. Jesus, we praise you. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Jesus, praise you. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let's all kneel down. Let's all kneel down to receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord is blessing. The Lord is blessing every one of us. The healing is completed. You can feel it in your body that healing the Lord has started is getting completed in our body. Let us praise and thank our God and surrender our lives in the hands of our God. Let us receive the blessing of the Lord. Oh, sacrament most holy, oh, Oh, 
Blessed are the hungry, blessed are the thirsty, blessed are the ignorant, blessed are the empty. For we have a God whose heart embraces every one of us. We have a God who feeds us and nourishes us so that you and I can be the body of Christ. You and I can spread his love. You and I can give meaning to those who have found no meaning. You and I can spread the sunrise of Jesus wherever there is darkness. God bless you and go and be a blessing. The ministry of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged, the destitute women, the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families. If you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of almsgiving, we invite you to send your love offering to Divine Charitable Trust CD account number 04022310000014 HDFC Bank Chalakudi branch IFSC code HDFC 00004022 and email the details to divine retreat center at gmail.com